Hello and welcome to Simply Reviews, another twist on reviews and um, done by me. Wow. Um, let's get our first item. Ta da! Uh, we've got our item. Um, so, as you guys know, I've been waiting this, for this for quite a while now. Quite a while. Um, and this was a back of kit on. Um, an Indiegogo campaign and this is apparently the world's smallest 4K camera. Hmm. Now I will say now I have had this out of its packaging already to make sure the battery is charged and everything and also to make it easier for me to open up but let's get started guys. So we slide this off and we have to send with another plastic box like this one. Exciting stuff. Um, unfortunately it's got a plastic coating on which does come off apparently. Make it shinier. Yay. There we go. It's a shinier box here. Looks like it might be on the back as well. This is a shame if they haven't bothered to do that. But they're right. So, here we have a hard case. Now, I am made believe camera should be inside. So here we have the contents of the Motocam Adventure Kit, an Adventure Bundle was it? I'm not entirely sure. And within the promo inserts you get the camera itself in its waterproof case. And um, you also get an additional battery. A screen, in case you want to view what you're filming. A, a GoPro mount adapter, so I can attach this to this and then get a GoPro mount and use it so it's a GoPro. And then you get this little remote, which I need to try and remote and uh, work out how it works. So I haven't gone that far when it comes to this. So that's the hard case, and that's them bits. Just check there was one more box in here so we'll get to the one more box and of course we will give the um, actual camera itself a good test and see what the quality of it is like so here we have it comes out we have the extension to the uh, waterproof case which allows you to use the battery. Uh, we've got the charging cable and we've got a battery to go into the remote and a lens cap. So yeah, uh, we don't need a charge cable at the moment, everything's charged. Uh, we've put the battery in the remote though, because I have not done that yet. I know, shameful. I should have done it by now. Happened. So we'll put that in there, like so, and oops, way around. Helps if I get it the right way around, guys. So that goes in like so, and snaps in place. So that's got power. More rubbish. Now, what we'll do is we'll take the camera out of the case. Because there's no need for it be in the case at the moment because I'm not doing any although if you want guys I'll test the case itself to make sure it's waterproof but only if you want so this here is mocha cam mocha cam as a whole and these are all the accessories that go with it lens cap so we put that there and that there and a remote so I don't think hello blue uh, so yeah I think there should be some instructions in there so. should be in there yeah and you get a booklet of instructions just plain printed instructions so here you'll notice you'll probably recognise this connector I've worked out that actually it's a 30 pin connector, which is kind of cool. 
So a 13 connector, so if you've got an iPod or something, you can reuse the cable, possibly. And now it's just like, and which way around you gotta have go? that time where you just like disconnect from the, from the scene. I have had it off just before. The, the, the race. Like Believe the, it's and, this and it's way. a race that I've created in my head. And then, you know? But you have to step away from it. I hate these sort of things, because I can never get them off. There we go. So that comes off. Screen goes into the side like so, which spins around perfect for vlogging and filming stuff. Bit chunky, but it has a battery inside, so you can forgive it. The battery snaps onto the back, guys, like so. And basically, you've got maximum battery power there right now. I believe this goes onto the bottom somehow. Like so, maybe. Like so, so if I want to attach it to a GoPro mount, I can. So that's that bit. Lens cap obviously goes over the lens. But shall we turn it on, guys? And see what happens. He says. It has been on. There we go. Makes a small noise. So what setting are we on at the moment? I have played with it, so I need to make sure that um, on video, no files, no, wrong bit. Helps if I know what I'm doing, guys. Um, right, menu. I don't want time lapse on. Um, okay. Oh, so you get this little screen here that shows you everything that you're doing. Um, now, I won't try it for now, but if I go into uh, movie size, it gives you the option to choose 4K 25 FPS. Or 1080 80p 60 fps, 1080p 30 fps, 720p 120, 60 and 30. So apart from the 4K, it's not quite as good as your iPhone. This phone can record 240 fps at 720p. However, that is not too bad. So what I am going to do now. Is I'm going to go back onto it and test film a video and I'll play the video in the corner and see how good the audio is because there's been rumours that the audio isn't very good on it. I'm kind of hoping the rumours are wrong. So here goes. So obviously you're going to be able to see me. I can see myself upside down right now. So I've got that view. So right now we're recording, um, I'm not sure entirely how well it's going to go. It's got an orange indicator light that seems to flash while it's recording. I'm not entirely sure how this works yet. It does have a fisheye lens so it does skew your perspective a little bit unfortunately. However, not too bad a thing. See, that's not connected yet, so I don't know how to... Oh. I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know what's going on. It's now decided to glow blue, which isn't mm, such a good thing. thing. So we've got a small clip there. I believe that's what you press. Yep. So the video's recorded. And hopefully it was good quality or see if it was good quality at the end. Now, the next thing I want to do is put this back to that side. I want to actually test from what a good case with the external battery. Because if I can get that working alright, amazing. I'm not entirely sure how I go about doing this part. First, for everything, eh? That's it. Uh, popped out like that. That pops back 
camera goes face first in like that. And that goes in like that. So, so the camera's now inside here. And obviously the film quality should be decent. So again, I'm going to do a quick test. Um, I don't believe it will be able to hear me. So, um, don't expect any miracles, it probably won't hear me at all. So, if you can see me, and yeah, I don't even know if that's recording, probably not. I don't know what's happening with it. Now I've got the screen off, it's like a mystery. And I haven't got the, um, app set up yet, so it is a real mystery. Right, I'm just going to do that. Is it going to do anything? Um, okay. I don't know what it's doing there. I don't know. It's unresponsive though. Which isn't so good. Um, we'll come back to this guy. Okay, so I've sorted it and it's working again now, which is all good. Um, it means that there's no issues with it. Um, I don't quite know what happened. Don't really want to know what happened. Um, yeah. Anyway. There's a couple of advantages to this. It's got a magnet here, which not only helps with that, aligning each other, Invincible. but you can put it onto something magnetic. Unfortunately, I haven't really. No, it's not magnetic. So I haven't got anything here magnetic to attach it to. However, if, you, if I did, you could attach it to it and film from that without having to hold the camera, which is pretty handy. Um, and yeah, it, it seems to be a pretty decent camera. Um, I suppose time will tell. Um, got to try the 4K side of it out. So yeah, I suppose it's worth giving it a shot. And let me know what you think of it. Um, it's not fully available yet to buy because it's still doing shipments at the moment of those that backed it. As soon as it is, I'll, I'll try and remember to let you know, guys. And anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, leave us a like and comment and let us know if you've experienced with Mocha Cam or something similar that you recommend trying. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in a bit, guys.